Welcome to another video. You have probably heard of Linux, the free and open source operating system. Or maybe you have even taken it a step further and installed it to test things out. Now you're wondering, can I actually be productive in this new environment? Like I was on my current OS, which is nearing its end of life. Stick around to find out. Linux today is a completely different beast than it was even just a few years ago. If you tried it five years ago, you'd find it noticeably improved now. These days, Linux can help you hit the ground running right from the start. Let's begin with office work, something almost everyone needs. Linux has you covered. Most major Linux distributions come with an office suite pre-installed. In most cases, it's LibreOffice a powerful, free and open source alternative to Microsoft Office. LibreOffice includes several applications, a writer for word processing, calc for spreadsheets, impress for presentations. And it's not your only option. Some distributions, like Manjaro, let you choose an Office suite during installation. For example, you can opt for free Office, which also includes tools for documents spreadsheets and presentations. There's more. Through the built-in software stores, you can install other suites like the increasingly popular Only Office or WPS Office, formerly Kingsoft Office. All of these apps let you store your work locally, so there's no need to rely on cloud storage unless you want to. And when it comes to compatibility with Microsoft Office formats, things have improved significantly. Here's an example, a 209-page document created in MS Word opens in LibreOffice Writer with the exact same layout. That's how far compatibility has come. As we have mentioned in previous videos, modern Linux distributions now include app stores, just like the ones on your Android phone or iPhone. You can configure them the way you like, choosing different sources to pull software from. In other words, you can enable additional platforms beyond the default repositories. After that, it's simple. Search for the app you need, click Install, and you are done. In today's world, web browsers are arguably the most important tools on a PC or laptop. Almost everything involves Internet access, so browsers are essential, and Linux offers plenty of choices. Many distributions, like Manjaro, come with Firefox as the default. But through the App Store, you can easily install other popular browsers. For instance, Chromium, the open source base for most major browsers, available both via official repositories and as a sandbox app via Flathub. Google Chrome, easy to install if you rely on Google's ecosystem. Brave, Vivaldi, and Opera, all available and fully functional. Even Microsoft Edge can be installed on Linux. For Debian-based distributions, you'll find an official installer on Microsoft's website. So, if your workflow relies heavily on web-based tools, Linux won't let you down. If your job involves image editing or photo manipulation, Linux has solid options here too. Most Linux distributions come with only a minimal set of pre-installed apps, so you can choose exactly what you need. For viewing and organizing images, XNView MP is a powerful choice. For editing and creating images, GIMP is the go-to tool. It's widely regarded as a strong alternative to Photoshop. While the workflow isn't identical with some time and practice, GIMP can be mastered easily and offers a rich feature set. Linux also supports audio editing and production very well. Start with Audacity, a free, open-source, multi-track audio editor that's constantly improving with new features. There's also Tenacity, 
a fork of Audacity with similar capabilities. If you are into full-fledged production, try Arder, a professional-grade digital audio workstation for recording, editing, mixing and mastering both audio and MIDI. You can also install LMMS, ideal for music production, synthesizing sounds, creating loops and arranging samples. In terms of video editing, Linux provides several capable free and open source tools. They may not compete with the likes of Adobe Premiere, but they are more than enough for YouTube content and similar projects, and they keep getting better. Two of the most popular options are Shotcut, great for beginners, clean interface. Caden Live, feature-rich and actively developed. Here's what Shotcut looks like when installed. And this is Caden Live. Both are beginner-friendly and easy to get the hang of. If you need to convert video files between formats, Handbrake is a powerful tool for that, supporting a wide range of modern codecs. Need virtualization software? Linux has you covered here too. VirtualBox is a popular cross-platform hypervisor that runs on Linux as well. You can install it from your distribution's app store or download it directly. Not a fan of VirtualBox? Try GNOME Boxes, a simpler alternative that can automatically download and install operating systems for you in a virtual environment. And finally, if you are a creative professional, there's a Linux distribution tailor-made for you, Ubuntu Studio. It's designed specifically for content creation, preloaded with tools for audio production, graphic design, photography, video editing. Ubuntu Studio is completely free, open source, and an official flavor of Ubuntu, one of the most well-known Linux distributions. So, back to our original question. Can you be productive on Linux? The answer is a clear yes. That said, we are not suggesting you immediately jump ship. Test things out. Do your research. See what works for you. But it's important to know that the tools are already here, whether you need them for work or for creative passions. What's your experience with productivity on Linux? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.